So this is after he just caught up and they're dipping. Where's he going? And this time, none of you will be left behind. That structure in the center of the city, it's a forerunner ship. And truth is heading straight for it. So ripping it out kills him? Or was it or was it the thing that's keeping him alive? That brute has the index. And Miranda and Johnson. He can activate the ring. If he does, I'll detonate in Emberclad's reactor just like we did the autumns. The blast will destroy this city and the ring. Not a very original plan, but we know it'll work. No. I don't want to chance a remote detonation. I need to stay here. Um, who landed this? Oh, the flood. They can drive. Oh, yeah, they can drive vehicles. Of course they can. Clearly, we know Cortana's not going to die because... Spoilers, this is like an extremely old game. And I know she's alive. Flood-controlled dropships are touching down all over the city. That creature beneath the library, that grave mind, used us. We were just a diversion. What? Amberclad was always its intended vector. There's a conduit connecting this tower to the ship. Head back inside. I'll lead you to it. So the grave mind used us as a distraction so it can take the Amberclad. Which is something. God damn, why did I play Master Chief? I can't even play the Arbiters. I got Invisies. Like, it'll be so useful to lose aggro right now. The hell? Where'd it go? Did it die? I thought... Oh, it, it hid. But anyways, yo, and welcome back to Tales of Arc. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. But welcome to Halo 2 Anniversary Edition. Master Chief, there's a red dot. Where's this thing? You? Something's alive somewhere. So use this to get the amber clad, which is this thing or something, a bomb. And if it doesn't work out, we can just blow it up like the like Halo one. And then there'll be another <laughs> ring destroyed. We're just blowing up rings. Ooh, no. So where does it want me to go to this ship? Am I hijacking this? Am I recording? Yes, I am. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're blowing up that. The Amberclad, which is the name of that ship. Just like the... The Autumn Pillar. Okay. That makes sense now. I understand. In case anything doesn't work out. A shoddy. A shoddy. You okay? So why does the grave mine want our ship? So it can leave? I mean, will it fit? I assume it was a kraken, but then I saw the the mouth tentacle thingy. So it's like a worm. Maybe it's like. The leader of the flood or it is a flood it's something all right i gotta remember to take it slow because i don't want to get rage oh did i get sticky no i didn't it's just so much for my little she has a grenade launcher Ma'am, I'm just one guy against an entire army of monkeys and zombies and lizards. It's like essentially the Covenant. It's like a cult of a lion following 
making a promise to each other that, hey, we will reach this religious whatever thing. Uh, Valhalla or the journey um, is what they call it. Oh, where is he hiding? Wasn't there one? There you are. I knew I knew there was one. All right, let me take this sword. But yeah, so they're trying to do this Valhalla great journey thing. Covenant was established so they all can get there because the high council people convinced these other people to, that it's a good idea to get rapture into heaven, whatever. And it's the best feeling of it all by making a false god that is the monitor and saying, hey, this is our god, but they, but which they don't really believe that the oracle was like the worst thing ever. They're just using it as a front to establish their religion. And anyone that speaks up against them, they just slap with the heresy label and say, heretics, and then just kills them, essentially. So everyone's too afraid to speak up. Shall we let the flood consume our holy city? Turn high charity into another of their wretched hives? No enemy has ever withstood our might. The flood too shall fail. Spoken like a true religious guy from like Castlevania. Anyway, if you haven't seen it. Cause it's like, I believe in episode four, this old thou, uh, thou the mightiest holiest was like, how dare you speak upon God's name? Or like, you can't enter the house of God. And then they just walk in. And they're like, no, you can't do that. It's like lies in the house of God. And then they continue to massacre him. Well, does this make me float over there or does it go up? Should I just let them fight each other? I feel like that's smarter. But then again, they are losing. I have 33. I should waste this entire clip and then grab another gun. Oh, a double. You guys just saw that? I just got collateral. No, I'm out. All right, let's go grab another gun. Oh. I believe there should be one. This is a hundred. We got another one over here. So I'm gonna try and take it slow so I don't get mad because my impatience is getting me killed. That is my strategy. Yo, die. I won't waste my. Oh. What the hell? Maybe they are dead. Die. Come on, bro. How are you still alive? Everyone in their goddamn reinforced shields in this. Oh, well, this will take me over there, but it seems like the right way. Ooh. No, it's not the right way. It's the other way. Oh, I wonder when, what their true end game is. Like, clearly, they're just using religion. That's a front. I feel like I don't really believe them when they say they believe the great journey. They're using it for something. I just don't know what world domination, world destruction. Like something isn't right. It's really sussy. 
Like, he just clearly killed... Oh, my. He just killed two councils like nothing. Please make yourself home at home. Come on. Come on, bro. You're dead. Checkpoint, let's go. That's a carbine. Oh, what? I'll take it. So, will you guys ignore me or you go down that hallway and fight them? I'm hoping for the... What, what, what the fuck? <laughs> why, why did I let him do that? I clearly saw him walking towards this way. I'm like, maybe he's just coming to say hi and then he'll turn around. That's why, why did I think he'll do that? What's wrong with me? I literally just let this guy wobble up like some fucking penguin with a shotgun and he mowed me down like nothing, like I was shit. Oh, did That's odd. Oh, no, 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 no. Close, close, close. Come on, go the other way. I wish there was I wish this was glass so I can see through. Yes, yes, go. 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 Go my little egg sacks. Kill them for me. Weaken them. That's how it's gonna take it slow and patient and not get mad. You better not be turning around or I'd be so goddamn mad. No, no, no. You better not be coming this way. You think maybe they turn around? Yes, 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 go. Yes, go, go, go. Looks like they killed them all, so I just kill you guys now. Oh, he has a shoddy. This guy is so tanky. All right, where's that shoddy? Give me that shoddy. Get out of here. Got samurai looking guy. All right, let's see. I need you, Pike. Pike. Mm. The bang where I should just let them fight. Oh. Yeah. Parasite did not defeat the former. It shall not defeat us. I mean... Does a grave mind just want to die? Is that his goal? It sounds painful that he has to survive for eternity while they get to die instantly. Maybe that's why he wants the Amber Glad for so he can just blow the planet up so he can die with it. Oh. Uh, I 
I feel like if that's his goal, it's understandable. Having to live for infinitely suffering life where you're pretty much a chubby ass worm underground. And then you got to listen to all this whining from the covenant and the humans being like, la la la, high council, blah, blah. And he's like, none of that's true. Open your eyes. All right. Um, I just need to kill you. Is this guy just bomb kamikaze me? 